if you, if you talk about legacy, I like to think that uh, I was the one that showed that the 800 metres was uh, an endurance event. I wasn't particularly fast, although it might have seemed so at the end, but uh, I just uh, had enough endurance so that I could last the second lap better than uh, a lot of my rivals. And it was, it was fascinating to me to be running against people with superior 400 metre speed, and if I made it tough enough for them in the last lap, I could outfinish them. Winning the gold medal in Rome, that changed my life. Uh, I was just a run-of-the-mill runner, made the New Zealand team. There was even a little bit of criticism in New Zealand. Why are we sending him? He's only ranked 25th in the world. Uh, and I come back with a gold medal and I've been uh, uh, an excuse for all sorts of mediocre selections ever since. My career developed and uh, by four years later, uh, there was more a very deep satisfaction in being able to repeat at 800 metres. Uh, and that would have been a world record had I not already held it, and then doubling at 1500 as well. So, so they are the, the main points of my career, and then in between setting a few records didn't hurt either. David Radish's uh, 800 in the Olympic Games, it was fabulous. I, I, I really felt privileged uh, to be able to see uh, that outstanding performance. It uh, was very impressive. And I, I just, I wished I'd been in the field actually at, at my best and I don't, I, w I wouldn't have beaten him, but I would have been, I'm sure, pulled out to a faster time than I ever did. He has power and strength and uh, endurance. He, I think, personifies uh, what I admire about middle distance runners. I was getting tired of um, uh, doing, doing a full-time job and training. Um, I got married in 1963 and so you know, the family life wasn't that great and so I said, well, you know, I'll, I'll, Tokyo will be my last. I don't, I've already achieved my records and uh, um, if I can do the double that will be a nice career and then I can get on and have more of a family life and do some other things. I redefined myself um, at the age of 34. I, uh, I traveled to the United States and enrolled as a freshman, as an un undergraduate at the University of California at Davis. Uh, completed my four-year degree in three years. Um, uh, participated in Superstars in my last year. And that, that funded my graduate education. And I went on uh, and four years later earned a PhD. There wasn't an opportunity to return to New Zealand, but I had a, an offer of a postdoctoral fellowship in Dallas. And so I moved there. I'm still working 50% time.